Welcome to HangPy tutorials using ASP.NET Core. In this video, let's look at what is HangPy. HangPy is a task scheduler like Windows scheduler. If you don't want to depend on a Windows task scheduler, you can use this HangPy. HangPy runs as an independent application, so you can add it to your ASP.NET Core web application. HangPy is built on client server architecture on .NET stack. So here we can use client for creating the jobs, server for executing the jobs. HangFire is available for both the .NET framework and .NET Core framework. HangFire uses external storage in a database. In this video tutorial, we will be using SQL Server as an external storage for HangFire. HangFire uses this external storage or the SQL Server database to store the jobs submitted to HangFire and to maintain the status of the tasks. And HangFire comes with a free version, open source. You can use that. HangFire also will, uh, comes with a pro version. So we'll look at that later. And to understand HangFire better, let's look at HangFire architecture. So as we already discussed, HangFire has three main components. One is a HangFire client, another one is an external storage, and the third one is a HangFire server. HangFire client is responsible for creating jobs and stores it inside a job storage. And after creating the job inside job storage, the cursor immediately returns back to the caller. So once the job creation is done, HangFire client job is done. So now HangFire server will come into the picture to execute the submitted job. It will pick up the job from the storage and it will execute the job in the background using its own threads without disturbing the main thread. This is main architecture of HangFire. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching.